Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Shelly Home Design. In today's episode I'm going to show you how I built this faux window in the basement bedroom of my new apartment. It doesn't have any natural light so I needed to build something and this is actually the door to my closet. And if you stick around for a future video I'm going to show you how to automate it so that it has a sunrise and sunset sequence every morning and night. So first what you're going to want to do is take some measurements. It's very important to be incredibly thorough, measure in multiple spots so that you can be sure that you have the right measurements. So this is the first thing I measured and that is the height of the actual doorway area for this window that we're building and that is 70 and 3 quarters inch all the way across then the top and the bottom were off by about half an inch so that means that this door right here is going to end up being 23 inches in width that way we have the space on the sides so I cut out two pieces right there and right there those are one by twos and they're 79 inches in length and then there is here and here those are one by fours those are 19 inches in length and they will fit inside then I decided that I wanted it to be kind of like um a window with like a cross pattern so I decided to have a middle piece and that is 71 and a quarter inches in length and that is actually a one by one by one by 1 1.5 and then it wasn't perfectly even to get them um, these middle bits right here and here but they are eight and three quarters inch in length and eight and thirteen sixteenth inches in length respectively then I wanted to make a window sill, so that is this piece right here. That is 19 inches in width, and that is a 1 by 2 And then for the actual sill part itself, because number 12, that actually goes right here over by number 13. Kind of slides in there. And then there is the actual sill itself, which is number 14. That is 23 inches in length, because I wanted it to go all the way across. And then that is a one by four with the corners cut off. And then my dad helped me with a router to create a coved edge. So now let's get back to how we actually build this thing. And now I am going to my trusty miter saw and I'm making the cuts on all of the different pieces of wood that I need to build this faux window door. And now I have laid it out so that I can have a good idea of how it's going to look. Now I am putting it together and I am drilling pilot holes in the top and bottom where the 1x4 meets the 1x2 on both sides and I'm going to be screwing those in place. Then I used hot glue to get all of the middle bits in place because it would be too much work to screw it together. This is how the finished product is looking before painting and in just a second we will see how it looks after I painted it with gold spray paint. And I add a little applique at the top. I can show you how I make those in the future. So this is how it looks after I painted it gold. And I'm pretty happy with how it looks actually. It looks kind of like a real window. And so now I am taking glass panes from Dollar Tree picture frames and I am hot gluing them all around the outside to the back of this door. And that is gonna give it a little bit more realism so that if there's actual glass there and then what I'm going to do is hang this door up on hinges in the area and I'm also I used frosted glass spray paint on the panels on both sides so that it would be a very opaque look but still let light through so that you can't see that it's not a real window and so this is how it looks after I have put hinges on it and put it in place and now there's only one thing left to do and that is dress it with some curtains but here are some before and after pictures 
of how it looks. I think it's quite convincing actually. And this is how it looks after I dressed it with curtains. So as you can tell, it really does look like it's a window. I'm really happy with how this project turned out and I'm gonna do another one like this in the future. So I hope you guys really like this video and I hope you have a wonderful day and definitely subscribe if you like this so that you can stay tuned for more of my work. Have a good day. Bye.